What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Ciao ragazzi, benvenuti a Milano. We are in Milan. Um, it's Luke's first time actually in Milan. So we are going to explore the city a little bit. Uh, I got a few tips off of my relatives where we should go. But obviously we have to start the video here in Piazza del Duomo, directly at the Dome in Milan. was in the year 2014 it was actually my uh, my uncle's wedding um, so I haven't been to Milan in nearly eight years uh, so a lot of things definitely have changed and we came here from Albania directly from Tirana and uh, we surprised my family and nobody knew like my mom knew that we were going to come but my, obviously my grandparents my uncles my aunties my cousins nobody really knew that we were going to surprise them So I just put Luke in front of my grandparents' door uh, to knock on the door <laughs> and then my auntie opened the door and was really, really surprised. She was like, hi. Um, but we came here for the Easter holiday and uh, just surprised to surprise everybody and just kind of get to know everybody for Luke as well. So here there is a very interesting bull in the ground here and people put their heel into the bull itself spin around three times and it apparently brings you good luck good fortune and uh, who knows what else so there's a whole bunch of benefits to doing this i have been doing the spinning with the ball probably i'd say 20 times in my life um, and I remember very vividly when I was younger um, that I was so scared to do it because there's always like larger crowds of people and everybody's kind of looking at you while you're spinning around. So um, I do remember very vividly of being so scared <laughs> to doing this, but I still did because it's for good luck, right? So for me, as Naomi said, this is my first time being in Milan and it's actually my first time ever being in Italy. So this is a real and true and honest first impression of Italy and of Milan in general from my side. From Naomi, she knows she knows this place. Might be um, a bit biased. <laughs> but she has not been here, as you said, in quite a long time. So there's so I have so much stuff on my list of uh, things to do. And we have such a short amount of time in Milan. Uh, we're actually flying tomorrow. <laughs> We can't tell you where we're going, it's a secret. It's going to be a, an amazing location though. So stay tuned guys, hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, we have plenty more travel content coming your way. The frog says subscribe. The frog says subscribe, yeah. So guys, here we are now in uh, Castello Sforzesca. I think I'm pronouncing Sforzesco. it Sforzesco. Um, the Duke of Milan. Uh, built this castle back in the 15th century and it is absolutely stunning just like everywhere in Milan um, everything is just blowing my mind to be honest the architecture the culture here I cannot wait to try some food as well uh, I have like I said so many different things on a list that I just need to check off along the way here in Milan few things in this world that I personally cannot live without and one of them is coffee and um, Naomi, and Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> but while I'm here in Italy coffee cannot breathe walk talk do anything without having one of these bad boys in my hand If you 
walk all the way through Francesco Sforza's castle, you will get out on the other side here, um, where you have this massive park. You can see the castle here just in the back. And then over here is the Arco della Pace, uh, which is the Peace Arch, which we are going to go to now and check it out a little bit. Apparently this arch was actually built with Napoleon in mind. Um, very, very interesting. The history, the architecture, the culture in Milan is just unbeatable, to be honest. As I was saying, everywhere we go, you have this beauty. Just look everywhere. This building, these incredibly beautiful steps and then it leads into a really beautiful park where you can find lots of people busking playing music laying in the grass and having picnics and the weather is perfect as well all of these little cute trams that we have shown you already uh, that you can find throughout the city of Milan are very very old so old actually that a lot of them still have type of wooden seats on the inside so it's not like nothing has been renovated about them I think maybe the engine has been changed at some stage I suppose but um, on the inside it's still exactly the same as it was before <laughs> check this car out guys really old Fiat look at it <laughs> in comparison to Naomi oh my god it's so small it's like the Italian Mr. Bean or something drives this can you imagine me or Luke driving this car and coming out of it like it's a clown car or something? I would look like Noddy if I was in this car. It's so cool. Proper light blue. Wow. It's worth mentioning that we are here in Milan on Easter. It's Easter Monday, so it's pretty quiet. We have almost the city to ourselves. It's very, very few people. There is people around and there is tourists because Italy only recently opened up um, to tourism from um, the pandemic. And uh, it's super, super nice just to have, just to stroll around Milan basically during Easter and see it for what it really is without all of the craziness. Naomi's auntie Elisa was kind enough to recommend us to come here to Chinatown in Milan and I had no idea that this even existed. All of the street signs, all of the restaurant signs are in Chinese. Check it out. You have Chinese slash Italian food and um, the street and the layout of the area looks just like Italy but all of the signs and all of the restaurants and a lot of the people, Chinese community, is very strong here, so it's super interesting. Okay, so we just went into one of the Chinese supermarkets there around the corner here, and uh, neither of us ever had a mochi, so we got this one. Um, there's ice cream mochi as well, which is very viral and trendy at the moment, um, but we got the non-ice cream ones. It's just a sesame mochi. Let's see. Get into this. Ah, no. I made it into the pack. <laughs> oh. Sesame mochi. Cheers, guys. Wow. Oh my god. This is so tasty. It has like, um, I think, black sesame seeds, uh, black sesame paste on the inside. You have the sesame seeds on the outside, and I think mochis are made out of rice flour or something like that at least that's what you hear on the streets i don't know but it's very tasty wash it down with a mako iced tea um, which is probably the sweetest iced tea i've ever tried even sweeter than american sweet tea that you would drink in texas and luke got in arizona because why not guys <laughs> just keeping it you know very um, asian here in chinatown <laughs> Stupid with the mask. Okay, so we are in the middle of Chinatown, I know. But we found a Sicilian restaurant, um, like a Sicilian takeaway. They do uh, fresh cannoli and arancine, all of these things. Anyway, we bought two arancine. Um, that's basically 
a fried ball of rice with a certain type of filling. In this case, we got prosciutto and cheese. And this one is ragu, so uh, tomato sauce and uh, minced beef. Ragu, like bolognese, like what English people would call bolognese. That's it, ragu. And we're just gonna give it a try. Mm. I just burnt, burnt the roof of my mouth. Oh, wow. Have a look in there, guys. Mm. The texture of it is incredible. It's almost like the texture of a scotch egg, if you've ever had a scotch egg. It's like deep fried rice. And uh, I can't wait to get to the center of this. Boy, oh boy, it's just gonna get better, I think, the more I go in. Let's give it a try. So scared to burn myself. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. The rice on the inside kind of tastes like a risotto type of rice. I mean, it's it's the it's long grain rice. It's not risotto rice, but it tastes a little bit like saffron, you know. And then you have obviously the cheese and the ham on the inside and the fried goodies on the outside. It's just a festival of texture. Okay, so if you ever do come to Milan and are around Chinatown, definitely try out this restaurant here, uh, Avuciria, it's called. At least that's what my, what my mom said. Um, you can definitely try the cannoli here or the arancine, and they're super, super tasty, fresh, and with very, very good ingredients. So definitely give it a try. It's three euro and 50 cent per rice ball. So guys, if you can't already tell, we like rice in the shape of some balls. Uh, today is the uh, day of rice balls, actually, so cheers. We're proclaiming Happy. it the International Day of Rice Balls. Yes, cheers. Mm. So guys, we made it to Rivareno Gelato, another recommendation from the amazing Elisa. Uh, thank you so much, Elisa, for recommending this to us. I got the combination that was recommended by the actual cashier in the store. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello. It was recommended to us by the actual cashier inside the store. Pistachio. And it's actually their home flavor as well down here at the bottom. So the Rivereno blend. I Crema di Rivereno. Crema di Rivereno. And I have uh, an almond ice cream and morena. So like kind of a, a cream type of... Uh, ice cream together with a cherry syrup. It sounds absolutely amazing. So we're gonna dive in and give it a try. You go ahead and try it here for the camera. Get a little piece of almond in there as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is absolutely amazing. Um, if you want to get two scoops, um, it is three euro and fifty cents. The medium size is three euro fifty cents. But pistachio definitely well worth it mamma mia mamma mia <laughs> it's so good guys so 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 good mm -hmm. 350 as well um it's not very expensive when you think about italy milan you think oh it's going to be a little bit on the upper end for everything but no there's very affordable places to eat around milan you can get pizza gelato uh, arancini like we just had and uh, this is the perfect way for this weather as well it's mm -hmm. the perfect food just to eat and enjoy while we're walking around and this is actually our favorite thing to do as well whenever we are in a city that we don't know or luke doesn't know um just kind of eat your way through the city and get a little bit of a taste of the culture instead of just seeing it so you really have to get in there and try the culture as well oh yeah <laughs> So that was easily, for me, the best gelato that I've ever had in my life. Vivareno gelato. Che banca! <laughs> Much architecture, such wow. McDonald's, wow. Just as a little tip, if you ever do come here to the Duomo Dome area, um, try not to eat in these types of restaurants so like here and in the in the gallery itself as well um, you will usually get the price that is like five times higher than what you would pay kind of in the next street 
and I feel like the food there is a little bit more kind of for tourists. Um, if you go further down to other streets, um, you will get a better price and usually you will get better food as well. One of the things that I personally really love about Milan is that no matter where you go, on every single corner, you have street artists, you have people that are busking, you have people that just make music, you have so many street artists here in Milan itself and it's just beautiful because there's a lot of life happening everywhere like even though we're still theoretically in the obviously you know what I mean <laughs> um, there's still so much happening so right now guys we are just outside of the Duomo itself just up here to the left and we're gonna just take you on a quick little walk through the crowds and crowds of people that are living and walking around enjoying their day here on this beautiful sunny Easter Monday in Milan and um, because it's Easter Monday Naomi was saying there's actually less people than there normally is but it is still madness there's people absolutely everywhere Look at how many people are just sitting here in front of the Duomo itself. Look at the little doggy. Look at this little dog. A little white cloud. But um, yeah, guys, so many people, so much happening. It is really a city that will knock your socks off in every way. Um, I'm totally blown away, guys, just by the sheer amount of people here um it's nuts there's so much to do here as well like so many restaurants an unbelievable amount of options for food cafes everywhere there's designer stores everybody is dressed very fashionably as well because it is milan this is pretty much like the capital of fashion um, in Europe, that's for sure. And you can see that just as I'm kind of panning around here. But yeah, this is in front of the Duomo, Easter Monday, Milan. We just took a walk through the Palazzo Reale and it is absolutely stunning. They have a really relaxing garden out in the back and lots of people just laying in the sun, taking it easy. Wow. This city is really, really mind blowing. Okay, you guys, we need to go back now to my grandparents because we're invited for dinner. Nice Sicilian food. We'll see what's gonna happen, I'd say. Um, but this has been an absolutely amazing day. And I think for a first impressions for Luke, it was very absolutely nice. Absolutely unbelievable. This city has already become in my top five cities in all of Europe. I've been around to many, many cities in Europe and Milan is already in the top five for sure. Get here as soon as you can. If you're planning a trip, hurry up and get over to Milan. Also now. try not try not to get hit by a car. Yep. <laughs> all right, you guys. So that's it from us today. Uh, my name is Naomi. My name is Luke. We are Nalu Adventures and we see you all in the next video. Ciao guys. Thanks for watching. Tak, ja